Do you know what your data privacy rights are? Stay tuned in this video to know your data privacy rights based on RA-10173 or the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Let us first define the terms which we are going to hear frequently. First is the data subject. It refers to an individual whose personal information is processed. This means if an organization collected and processed your data, you become a data subject. Next is personal information. It refers to any information from which the identity of an individual can be reasonably and directly identified by the entity holding that information. Lastly is the personal information controller. This term refers to a person or organization who controls the collection, holding, processing, or use of personal information. Now, we are ready to talk about our data privacy rights. The first one, which is the most basic right, is the right to be informed. This means your personal information should never be collected, processed, and stored without your explicit consent, unless otherwise required by a law. This right also requires the personal information controller to notify you in a timely manner if your data has been compromised. Next is the right to access. This means you have the right to gain reasonable access and the right to obtain a copy of personal information collected and stored in an organization's database. You may also ask for a written description of the kind of information they have about you as well as their purposes of holding them. This must be complied with in an easy-to-access format accompanied by a description in plain language. Next is the right to object. This means you have the choice to refuse to consent. The personal information controller should no longer process the personal data unless the processing is pursuant to a subpoena for contract for employer-employee relationship or a result of a legal obligation. If there is any change to the policy previously given, you should be notified and given an opportunity to withhold consent. Next is the right to erasure or blocking. This means you have the right to suspend, withdraw, or order the blocking, removal, or destruction of your personal data. You can exercise this right when there is a proof that the personal information is incomplete, outdated, false, unlawfully obtained, and used for unauthorized purposes. Next is the right to damages. If you feel your data privacy rights have been violated, you have a right to file a complaint with the National Privacy Commission. You may claim compensation from suffered damages. Next is the right to rectify. This means you have the right to dispute any inaccuracy in the personal information processed and to have the personal information controller correct it immediately. The personal information controller must ensure that the new and retracted information will be accessible and that third parties who receive the erroneous data will be informed upon your request. Next is the right to data portability. This means you have the right to obtain and electronically move, copy, or transfer personal information for further use. It allows you to manage your personal information in your private device and to transmit your data from one personal information controller to another. Under the Data Privacy Act of 2012, the rights can also be invoked by the data subject's lawful heirs and assignees in the event of his or her incapacity and even after his or her death. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave your comments, suggestions, and questions. Thank you very much.